Tuesday tip of the day. Sorry I've been gone for like two weeks. Things have been wicked lately, so um, I'm back. But um, today I'm going to teach you guys how to make an at-home exfoliant for your face. Um, so to start things off, um, our base of everything is going to be our vitamin E oil. Um, vitamin E oil is really good for your skin because it is absorbed into the pores and um, it is a anti-wrinkle, anti-aging oil and it's also really good for um, hyperpigmentation which is acne scars, sunspots, um, things like that. And um, just a tip for you guys, when you're making exfoliants for your face, you want to steer clear of things like coconut oil um, because that is a new thing that is up and rising about people thinking that coconut oil can purify everything. It's really good for a lot of things, but not for your face. It's good for your hair, it's good for your body, all that other stuff, but um, it's not really good for your skin because, I mean your face, because um, it is a waxy kind of substance, substance, so that means it's not going to penetrate into your pores. So it's just going to sit on the surface, it's going to clog your pores, which is going to cause um, blackheads. Uh, pimples and breakouts and blemishes and things like that. So when you're doing an exfoliant for your face, vitamin E oil. Yeah. <laughs> okay, moving on. Um, our um, other thing we're going to be using <laughs> is the tea tree oil. Um, the reason why I love tea tree oil because it is a antibacterial, antifungal, and um, also an anti-inflammatory so it is really beneficial um, all around it's really good for spot treatments like the other day I used it was wearing a new pair of shoes and I felt a blister coming on and I immediately right after I took my shoes off added a little bit of tea tree oil tea tree oil and then the next day it was gone didn't even blister up which was really fun and then so moving on uh, next thing we're going to be using is salt um, this is more for your body um, but if you grind it up fine enough, you could use it for your skin, but I really recommend um, using cane sugar for your, for your face. So, you know, this is good for your face too. Um, it's more of a body exfoliant, but if, like I said, if you grind it up enough, it'll be fine. So let's begin. And then I'm gonna be using my little witchcraft thingy. it up nice and fine. <clears throat> so while I'm grinding this up, I kind of want to talk to you guys about, um, you know, self-growth and sacrifice. Um, as you all know, I have been trying really hard to be a successful master esthetician. And, you know, lately it's been pretty discouraging because, you know, you you show up um, at the beginning, you know, guns loaded and you're ready to be successful from day one and it's not really like that. <laughs> it's really hard, it requires a lot of hard work, a lot of time and effort and a big smile on your face. So, you know, um, if anyone, everyone out there is going through something like this, I'm sure, so my advice is just, you know, um, look at it as a different angle. Um, Put a smile on your face because no one likes to see someone grumpy who's trying to succeed in something that is really hard to succeed in and um you know just just be just be aware that you did this for a reason you're going at this because you want to it's something that you want and you have a passion for so don't give up on yourself it's going to be okay as long as you put your two feet forward and you look at it in a good way you're going to be fine so yeah this looks looks pretty good so far but it's salt so I probably might need to grind it up a little bit more but um, I'll show you how to test that so we're gonna add our vitamin E oil just a little bit maybe like a teaspoon I maybe added a tablespoon of salt so then like a teaspoon of this kind of when you make you know if you need to start low and then work your way to be a pasty substance. This is kind of starting to stick, so I think I need to add a little bit more so it kind of acts as an exfoliant a little bit better. Okay. I don't know if you can see it 
this it's kind of turning into that pasty substance that I was talking about. All right, so I'm gonna test it before I add my essential oils. And the way to do that is to put a little bit on your wrist. The reason why your wrist is super thin, um, it's kind of the same um, thinness as your skin. So kind of start rubbing that around. If it's, if it's too abrasive or if it kind of hurts, um, then you should grind it up a little bit more, but this actually feels pretty good. So um, I'm gonna move on and add my tea tree oil. Just need to add like two, maybe two drops, two or three at most. Um, as you know, this is a, it's concentrate. So that that's why it's so expensive. This thing was like eight bucks, like it's tiny, but it's like all concentrated tea tree. It's really beneficial, but you don't need to empty the whole freaking bottle. Like you're gonna be fine. You're gonna get the benefits from it, I promise. All right. Oh, that smells so good. Okay. All righty. And that, my friends, is an exfoliant. Nice and, nice and pasty. Ooh. Yeah. Um, uh, just an FYI for you guys, uh, this is kind of the products that I use for my aesthetics. I really try to be as holistic as possible and make sure that my ingredients are natural and they're not going to damage your skin. Um, so if you guys are ever interested in getting a facial done by me, just um, if you have any questions or comments or concerns, you can totally ask me. Um, but yeah, so that is how you make an at-home exfoliant. Super easy, a lot of fun. And... Um, I need to go wash my hands. So everyone have a great day. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you next time.